Oh yeah. Time to be thankful, everybody. I'm thankful and grateful for a three and two week last week, a winning week, week 12 over the holiday weekend with the board of spreads presented by BetMGM. I am not thankful though for Justin Herbert, dead coach walking Brandon Staley and the fraud ass Los Angeles Chargers, the Los Angeles Chargers are absolutely screwing me on Sunday night against the Baltimore Ravens. But still, we will take a winning week and we'll look to keep it rolling here. Week. Lucky number 13 in the National Football League. Oh, baby, time flies when you're having fun and you're winning money and you're placing bets. Nick Costos here with you. The board of spreads presented by BetMGM, the king of sportsbooks. Download that BetMGM app and visit BetMGM.com. As always, I am here to give you my five favorite bets coming up in the National Football League and lucky number 13. But before we get to the bets, we must pay homage to the board of spreads. Board of spreads, you were good to us last week. Board of spreads, let's keep it rolling this week and get some dubs on the board. And as always, we will begin with the games that I have no interest in betting. We're pretty late in the season, so I kind of want to spray the board and bet on lots of these games. Only a couple that I have no interest in betting coming up this week, week 13 in the NFL. And we will start in New Orleans with the, the Saints. Honestly, like if you bet, I bet Atlanta last week. Good job by me. If you bet New Orleans, what the hell's wrong with you? I don't do this often it's after the fact, Monday morning quarter bar backing armchair situation here. But I mean, really, you're going to bet the New Orleans with Derek Carr and Dennis Allen to win a football game? What's the matter, you? What the hell's wrong with you if that's what you're doing? It's a bit of a different situation here. Now you just need the Saints to keep the game close against a Lions team. Jared Goff can't stop turning the ball over. Too much time spent with his supermodel girlfriend. Not enough time you know, watching the film. Also, if I were him, I'd be doing the same thing. But too many turnovers here for Jared Goff. But now the Lions are laying four at the Saints. Problem though for the Saints, we don't know if Olave is going to play. We don't know if Rashid Shaheed is going to play. Michael Thomas is already out. This could be literally Derek Carthorne and me and the guys here in the studio. Not going to go well for New Orleans. You know what this is? Alvin Kamara, PPR dream. 17 catches, 30 yards coming up for Kamara on Sunday. If I knew the Saints receivers were playing, I'd take the points with New Orleans, but I don't. So I won't. And we'll move on to the next game. I think there are only a couple here that I have no interest in betting. And we will go to Los Angeles for the Rams and the Cleveland Browns. You might be looking at this and say, wow, Cleveland's really good. The Rams are okay, but Cleveland's good. How are the Rams three and a half point home favorites? Well, do you know who might be starting in this game for the Cleveland Browns? Here's a hint. It's Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco might start this game. Yes, he was on his couch like two weeks ago. Signed by the Browns. I don't think DTR is going to be ready. Maybe he is. We can have a conversation if and when DTR is ready. There ain't no way. They are running from PJ Walker. I think they would rather bring Bernie, Bernie Kosar off the scrap heap, Tim Couch, Kelly Holcomb, get one of these old Browns quarterbacks, then roll PJ Walker out there for another game. This might be Joe Flacco. They might not have Miles Garrett in this game also. And that's why we see the Rams as a three and a half point favorite. Listen, we do this on Wednesday morning. I don't know who's starting at quarterback for the Browns. I don't know if Miles Garrett's playing. He's only the best defensive player in the league. Seems important to know, right? So no bet on this game right now with the Rams and the Browns. Although it is funny to think like it, Joe Flacco is going to start a game in the year of our Lord, 2023. All right, and that means we can move to the games that I like but don't love. And let's begin with a good old SGP+. Plus. Hey, you. You're the person watching this right now. What's up? Hope you had a, hope you had a great Thanksgiving. And everything's going well in your life. Uh, do you like same game parlays? Obviously, they're, they're really awesome. They're really fun. Uh, would you like to parlay same game parlays? Another, yes, obviously, of course you would. Who wouldn't want to do that? Bet a little to win a lot potentially here. I think that I've got the winning SGP plus for you coming up this weekend. And it emanates from the Colts and the Titans and the AFC South. And then the Garou Premium Bowl in our nation's capital with the Dolphins and the Commanders. This week's SGP plus is going to be the over in the Colts and Titans. Hashtag Shane Steichen overs. Absolutely love it. Gardner Minshew going to throw all over this bad defense. Even without Jonathan Taylor Thomas uh, going for the Indianapolis Colts. I still think the Colts can score points in this game against the bad Titans defense. And on the other side, big game for for DeAndre Hopkins. DeAndre Hopkins going to nuke the Colts boundary cornerbacks like Mike Evans did last week and other receivers have done. So let's go. DeAndre Hopkins over receiving yards and the over in the game. And we will pair it with the Dolphins to beat the Commanders by about 50 points. Dolphins lay the nine and a half. And Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle will both go over in this game against a terrible commander secondary. There's like political jokes to be made here. I won't make them, but you can in your head if you would like. So let's do Waddle over and the Dolphins to cover. Game over with the Colts and the Titans. DeAndre Hopkins over receiving yards. And we'll come back to both of these games coming up in just a little bit here on the board 
of spreads. All right, games that I like but don't love. Oh, let's go to, let's go to, let's go to Tampa Bay where we've got the Buccaneers and the Panthers. How bad was it last week for Carolina losing on the road to Tennessee? So bad they fired Frank Reich after only 11 games as head coach of the Carolina Panthers. And now so much bad press coming out of Carolina. The owner doesn't know what he's doing. The quarterback's really short. He is, and so am I, and there's nothing wrong with that. If you do what I do for a living, but if you play NFL quarterback, you gotta see over the offensive line. Bryce Young's in a world of trouble here, but really, now we get to a situation where Todd Bowles and Baker Mayfield need to win your bet by six to win? This is Carolina or nothing. With Chris Tabor, the special teams coach, taking over, we'll see if the Panthers offense gets some juice. Probably not, because you know, the players are all terrible. But you want to lay Tampa in this game? Find something else to do with your life. Carolina or nothing for me against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh, man. This is like... It's getting stuck to the bottom of my shoe is an omen for what I'm about to say in this game with the Chargers and the Patriots. Last, could you imagine, and I'm sorry for anyone that did this, could you imagine, imagine this, laying like four and a half points with Mac Jones and the Patriots against any NFL team. They made Tommy frickin' DeVito look like Joe Montana last Sunday, the greatest Italian-American in recent memory, my guy Tommy DeVito. I married into an Italian family. I'm going like this during the game on Sunday for the New York football Giants. And now maybe it'll be Bailey Zappi, or as I call him, Bailey Slappy. You know, because he's a slap. Comes into the game and all the Patriots fans are like, oh wow, Tom Brady's here, everybody. Or they're both bad. They're both brutal. And the Patriots should be big underdogs in this game. But it's, it's Brandon Staley and Justin Herbert and an offense that has absolutely no juice. I don't know how the hell it's going to happen. I don't even know who the Patriots are starting at quarterback. I'm going to play the Patriots not to cover the spread. I'm going to play the Patriots to win the damn game because that's what the Chargers do. They charger, they lose. I don't know how it's going to happen, who the Patriots are starting at quarterback, but I'll bet against that zombie fraud, Brandon Staley. Give me the greatest coach of all time, Bill Belichick. And maybe it's Mac, maybe it's Bailey Slappy. We'll see. Give me the Patriots to win against the Los Angeles Chargers coming up on Sunday in Foxborough. The next game that I like, but don't love. Oh, this one's really interesting from a betting perspective. Steelers and the Cardinals. The Steelers, following they blamed Canada last week and they were right to do so because then they had like a million yards of offense. Wow, what a surprise. Throw the ball down the field in 2023 in the NFL and things could go your way. Now the Steelers though off that win against Cincinnati are being rated like they're like an awesome team. A couple weeks ago, Houston played Arizona. Think about how you feel about Houston's offense and CJ Stroud. Houston closed a five and a half point favorite against Arizona. Now Pittsburgh's being rated exactly the same way. Do you out there watching, do you agree with that? Do you think the Steelers are now something different? With Matt Canada gone, we blamed Canada. He's out of here with the wildfires. He's done. Or do you think that Kyler Murray can stroll on through the back door? Get your minds out of the gutter. We're talking about covering the spread. I don't really know what I want to do here. I guess I play Arizona. I like the game. I don't love it. I like Arizona a little bit because I'm still not sold on this Kenny Pickett-led offense all of a sudden being the greatest show on turf. Lean for me towards the Arizona Cardinals. The next game that I like but don't love. Honestly, I'll take everyone behind the curtain here. We try not to have like the Thursday night game be like one of like the games we love because we have those at the ends of the week. I freaking love the Dallas Cowboys in this game. Hashtag doomsday. What does Dallas do to bad teams when they play them at home? Doomsday. They bully them. They blow them out. So you might be asking yourself, is Seattle a bad team? They're not, right? Yes. Yes, they are. And they're probably going to look at their schedule. They're probably not going to make the playoffs at this point. They are walking into a buzzsaw on Thursday night with the Dallas Cowboys and Dak Prescott trying to be the MVP of the National Football League. Big game for CeeDee Lamb. We don't know if Kenneth Walker's playing in this game for Seattle. Screwing fantasy owners everywhere. Also, I hope he's healthy. You know, serious note. Also, like, get back soon because I need you like to make the fantasy playoffs, please. Dak Prescott on the Cowboys. Buzzsaw Seattle. Hashtag doomsday. Dallas or nothing on Thursday night football against the Seattle Seahawks. You know what? Let's go to the two-team teaser of the week. Our two-team teaser lock of the millennium, which unfortunately, uh, love did not stink on Thursday. 
Yeah, yeah. And we lost the two team teaser lock in the millennium last week. I think we've got a winner this week, and this is going to be two of the best quarterbacks in the AFC, the two team teaser. We are going to tease on Sunday Night Football the Chiefs down to win the game, down to minus a half. They win by one, we win. They win by 100, we win. Chiefs to win in the Super Bowl one rematch against Green Bay, and we will tease the Jacksonville Jaguars down to minus two and a half, win by three, we win against Jake Browning and the Cincinnati Bengals. Someone tell me how this bet loses. I mean, there's a way it loses, but we're going to try for it not to lose. Jaguars to two and a half, Chiefs to minus a half. The two-team teaser coming up for week 13 in the National Football League. All right, we'll quickly hit these two games, and then we'll get to the five. So the Dolphins are playing the Commanders on Sunday at our nation's capital. We told you about the SGP Plus already. I like Miami to cover the spread. Washington firing Jack Del Rio. Hashtag make Washington's defense great again with Del Rio out of the picture. The problem is the players stink. The problem is two is good. Tyreek's good. Waddle's good. Dolphins, get it done. Darryl, you premium. Watching, pouring some champagne. Dolphins laying the nine and a half against the Washington Commanders. And then I like the over in this game with the Colts and the Titans. Shane Steichen overs are a thing. They run a billion plays. Tennessee secondary is bad. Big game for Gardner Minshew. Big game on the flip side for Derrick Henry and DeAndre Hopkins. Over 42 and a half with the Colts and the Titans. And that now takes us. I always have to count just in case something fell. We got five. To the five best bets for week 13 in the National Football League as we look for another winning week. And we will start the best bets in the Jersey Meadowlands. Do you wanna, do you wanna get boiled? Who wants, who among us would like to get boiled? Not me. The bet here, and I understand Ritter me this, he's terrible. They won last week, they covered, we had them, it was great. Also, he throws brutal interceptions, he's terrible. Also, did, did we watch Tim Boyle play? I told you last week, worse than Zach Wilson. People were like, oh my God, how could that be? He can't be worse. He is, Jack. He is worse. He's worse. He's worse than Desmond Ritter. The bet is Atlanta to win the game against Tim Boyle. If you bet the Jets, you're betting on Tim Boyle to win a professional football game. If you want to do that, I got two words for you. Get a life. Give me the Atlanta Falcons laying the two and a half. I know that's three words. The Atlanta Falcons laying two and a half against the Jets. Best bet number one. We'll dirty bird our way to the finish line. Best bet numero dos. How about our Denver Broncos? We've been riding Denver for a while now. Five straight wins. Russell Wilson, maybe the comeback player. Sean Payton, maybe the coach of the year. Now they travel to Houston to take off, take on the cooled off CJ Stroud and the Texans cooled off last week by the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, Houston should be a favorite in this game. There's no question about it, but favored by more than three, where Russell Wilson who doesn't turn the football over. I just need Denver to lose by three or win the game to win my bet. Broncos country, let's ride, damn it. Broncos plus three and a half, best bet numero dos. Broncos plus the three and a half, best bet numero dos. Week 13 in the NFL. Oh, maybe the game... One of the best games of the season, NFC Championship game rematch, maybe another NFC Championship game preview in the city of brotherly love with the Eagles and the 49ers. San Francisco has been bet out to a three point road favorite. Now you might be saying to yourself, wow, that's crazy. How could, how could that be? San Francisco should be favored in the game. With the way Philly's played, Hurts maybe not fully healthy here. We don't know if Lane Johnson's gonna play. San Francisco's obviously awesome. Niners also extra rest coming off Thanksgiving, 10 days off, more rest than Philadelphia. But now that the number's at three, We've hashtag gone too far. We've gone too far in the other direction. Do you know that the Eagles actually just like don't lose? And I know they lost the Super Bowl. They've lost two regular season games that Jalen Hurts has started in the last two years. And we get them as a three point dog at home. I'm a Giants fan, I hate to say it. Fly Eagles, fly baby. Let's take the three with the Philadelphia Eagles at home against the San Francisco 49ers. And then we got two games in prime time to close. Love does not stink. Yeah, yeah. He was really good last week. Shoved it up my derriere. Good game by Jordan Love. Got the job done. Packers beat the Lions. But this week, bit of a different animal going up against Pat. I like this here with the tape, my thumb here. But I like this matchup here with the Chiefs defense. Different animal for Jordan Love to go against. I don't think Love's going to have a lot of success. And then Rasheed Minute Rice got it done last week for Kansas City along with Travis Kelsey. The Chiefs go into Lambeau, and I just need them to win by seven. Oh, hell yeah. Give me the Chiefs minus the six and a half. Kansas City laying it. Best bet number four on Sunday Night Football. And then we'll close on Monday Night Football in Duval with the Jaguars and the Bengals. Cincinnati's quarterback is Jake Browning. You know what's Brown? 
I love the Jaguars in this game. You're telling me, like with Jake Browning and a brutal Bengals defense, and I got another pillow Paisan from Staten Island, Lou Anarumo. But guess what? His defense is absolutely terrible. Trevor Lawrence is back. Jaguars win this game by 30. I don't know if it's going to be 30, but they will cover the spread on, on Monday night. Jaguars to cover against the Bengals on Monday night football. And there you have it. The five best bets coming up for week 13 in the National Football League. Place those SGP pluses, place your bets, place the teasers, betmgm.com and the betmgf. We'll see you next week here on the Board of Spreads with me, Nick Costos.